Hi everyone, Dr. Yuri here and I'm with Lancelot today. Now, uh, a couple weeks ago I released a video talking about names you can call your cat and during that video I mentioned that there's a story behind Lancelot's name and I got a couple hundred comments asking for me to tell that story. So today I will tell you the story of how Lancelot earned his name uh, through val valorous deeds in the clinic. But before we get going, I'm gonna apologize to you guys for the floating silver globe in the front of your screen. Uh, I don't have a lapel mic today, so um, bear with me. I do have a Patreon, however. It's a it link to which is in the comments below or description below. Um, so I'm hoping that if I get enough subscribers to my Patreon, I'll be able to afford a new lapel mic. So until then, uh, you'll have to forgive the floating eye of Sauron up here. Just ig ignore the silver globe in the front of the screen. All right, so the story of Lancelot. So Lancelot's story starts with a girl crying in a reception area about uh, nine years ago uh, because her cat just won't stop peeing everywhere. Uh, she had this beautiful, fluffy, black and white young cat and her parents told her that she's got to get rid of him because he just would pee on her blankets, pee on her pillows, pee on her clothes. She was in tears, didn't know what to do. So the clinic took her to said, all right, we'll adopt him. We'll try to find him a new home. And we now I just want to say this, that cats never pee out of the litter box without a good reason. And usually that reason is really easy to find, diagnose and treat. Now Lancelot here is probably one of two, maybe three cases in the last decade that I've seen where inappropriate urination could not be helped. You know, um, every rule has its exceptions and right here we're looking at one of them. So Lancelot went through three or four foster homes after this. So we kept trying to, to give him away to people. People thought he looked adorable and he's so sweet. Uh, I'd take him home and then they'd bring him back to the clinic a week later saying, we just can't put up with this. Uh, he's just peeing all over the place. Now it's important to note that at this time, his name was Lucifer. Now don't ask me who names their cat Lucifer, but his, his original name when he came to us was Lucifer. So after three or four times of being brought back from adoptive homes, Lucifer uh, was kind of running out of options. You know, we tried every single treatment under the book, you know, pheromones, diet modification, different types of litter, anti-anxiety medications. Nothing would stop this cat from peeing on blankets of people he liked. And he would pick the people who he liked the most and pee on their clothes, their blankets. Now the rescue we worked with at the time, the cat rescue, they said, well, maybe it's time to send him to the farm. And we're not talking about sending him to the farm in a gangster style. Uh, they actually had a farm in which they rehoused cats who were cons considered non-adoptable. Now, this is around the time that I took over the clinic, and I just looked at him and I thought, you know, he's so sweet and so fluffy, I can't really see him living on a farm. You know, he's just too beautiful to be, to be out in the woods somewhere fending for himself. So I said, all right, he can live in our clinic and be our clinic cat. So that's how Lucifer came to live in the clinic. And of course, he started peeing around the clinic until we figured out that if you just put a towel in his kennel overnight, he'll very happily pee on that towel and nowhere else. So we had this cat living in the clinic and we just put a towel in his kennel and he'd pee on it overnight and in the morning we'd throw it in the washing machine and the rest of the day he'd wander around the clinic, you know, supervising the reception staff, checking out the doctor's office, being his usual little fluffy, easygoing self and just be a really good little man. So really weird, but that's him. Um, and not long after he started living in the clinic, uh, one of our technicians, Mr. NJ, was working in a kennel with a really stressed out cat and this cat was growling and hissing at him and I think he was reaching into the kennel trying to change its blankets or give it a food dish or something. Next thing you know, Lancelot is scrambling up his back, claws out, growling and hissing and he leaps into this kennel and just blocks, you know, just protecting Mr. NJ from this angry cat. And of course the cats try to have a go at each other and Mr. NJ is separating them. Uh, in the end of the day, uh, he ended up getting clawed by both cats and both Lancelot and the other cat were completely fine. Um, <laughs> we just realized that Lancelot was trying to protect us against this 
<laughs> stressed out, hissing, growling cat. And this happened again and again. As you can imagine, in a vet clinic, we occasionally get cats who are not super happy to be here. They're kind of stressed. They'll growl. They'll hiss. And next thing you know, you have... Just imagine, imagine this guy. Seven kilograms of cat, claws out, climbing up your back <laughs> while you're trying to work with a... Well, you're already trying to work with a stressed out cat, which requires a certain amount of caution. <laughs> so... In his, his valiant attempts to protect us from angry cats were a little bit misguided, but very much appreciated. And we all decided that, you know, Lucifer is just not a good name for a cat, but we think this guy's name should definitely be Lancelot. He's a very, very noble protector. We also decided that we're going to lock him out front so he can't get into the back of the clinic when we're working with stressed out cats. And to this day, whenever we have a stressed cat come to the clinic, we always find out what Lancelot is and either lock him up in his kennel or set him out front to reception so that he can't protect us and draw blood in the process. <laughs> so that's the story of how Lancelot earned his name. Maybe a little bit misguided, but very well-meaning. Um, and, and we occasionally still forget or, or misplace him when we're working and the cat and we just hear this kind of growl coming from the floor and then somebody's very quickly rushing Lancelot out to the reception so that no one gets climbed and, and we don't get rescued from our patients. Now, after Lancelot lived here for a couple of years, one of our staff members who really fell in love with him decided to give him a chance at a new home. And she took him home, she did her best, and then she brought him back one morning, roughly a week later, saying, Lancelot pooped on my pillow. <laughs> Which... Not only did he pee on all her stuff, which and only her stuff, nobody else is in her household, he finally pooped on her pillow, just as a way of saying, I love you. And that was the end of that. And since then, he has pooped a few times on the scrubs of a staff member and in somebody's shoes recently. Only of the people he really loves. Well, besides uh, protecting us from our patients, Lancelot has another claim to fame. And that's that he's been our blood donor for the last eight years. It's one of the ways he's paid his room and board. And this little dude, he's a perfect blood donor. He's really easygoing. He's a big cat, so he's got lots of blood to spare. He's quite healthy. Uh, so he's actually donated blood a couple times a year for different cases that we've had to run. So this little man has saved a fair number of cat lives with his generous, generous donation. Uh, so that's another reason why he earns his noble title, a Sir Lancelot. It's because he's actually saved cat lives by donating blood, which was very much appreciated by the cats, their owners, and us alike. My father, who's a writer, is actually currently working on a children's book uh, loosely set on Lancelot life. Where we, might, we might leave the part about him pooping in people's shoes out of it, but um, I'll let you guys know when it's finished, and I hope you will check it out, but I don't know when that's going to be. So we all appreciate Lancelot, but he's certainly got a very misguided way of showing his affection. So, well, I hope you enjoyed the story of Lancelot's life, and um, hopefully there'll be a few more chapters to it. He's certainly a very heroic cat living with us in the clinic. Uh, very, very, very good little man, except, except for the, you know, peeing on blankets and shoe pooping incidents that luckily don't happen too often. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please share. Please check out the links in the description below. And uh, we'll see you next time. And until then, please remember to have fun with your pets.